Hello, friends. It's Exo Man. I am here in southeastern North Carolina, and after Hurricane Helene, um, just in recent days, I have gotten a lot of inquiries from friends and family, some concerned, some curious, people wanting to know what's going on in the, in the western part of North Carolina, about six hours away, five, six hours away in the mountains, specifically in the town of Chimney Rock, which is no longer a town. It, for as best as I can discern, it has been completely eradicated by the storm and subsequent flooding. That much I can pretty much tell you. So you have to, so let's start there. Hurricane Helene came up through the Gulf, uh, you know, starting as a tropical storm, up through the Gulf, up through Florida, and then through the southern states in and into the areas of Asheville, and now Chimney Rock was most devastated. Now, there's a lot of speculation and there's a lot of concern, not just for the loss of life, but for cover-ups, cover uh, you know, and people wanting to know if this is all about lithium, people s speculating that this hurricane was steered, people saying that's crazy, uh, conspiracy theory, other people saying, hey man, our government has patents on hurricane steering, storm control, seeding, whatever you want to call it, they directing, uh, creating, they, they, weather control is a thing now. It is a power that we've harnessed. Whether or not you believe that, that is a fact. But what, what I don't know for sure is if anything like that has been done. That's what's being speculated. What also is being speculated is this town of Chimney Rock, North Carolina. Again, this is in the western part of our state in the mountains. I'm coastal in the flatlands. Chimney Rock in that area has one of the largest de lithium deposits in the country or in the world, which they need for s superconductors and, and computers and cell phones and things, semiconductors. Um, I, I'm not very well versed on all that stuff, but that's a theory and that's a, that's a, some say a conspiracy theory or others might say it's a theory or others say it's a fact. Um, but what, here's what's going on in this big swirling mess of information and misinformation. People think that they've specifically and intentionally wiped out this town in order to take it over. It's just the same kind of theories as Lahaina. And to take this town and just eminent domain the whole town, which population in 2020 was like, I don't know, like 180 people or something like that. But they said, they're saying that there are bodies in the trees still. All of what was the town is, is, was a, became a flooding, floating mass of wood and debris and shingles and boats and cars all churning together, bodies, the whole thing. It, this, the whole town was just a deluge and wiped out. It's kind of a valley, small river town it's in between the mountain you know peaks and all the water flows downhill into lake lure which is down below it oh what a mess but one thing i can tell you for sure is that the media is just not covering it as as usual with things like this they don't they either don't cover it properly or they bury it and you go i used to watch fox news i used to visit the web page but I think that that has all been captured now. CNN has always been a mess. And to me, they're just a political arm of the Democrat Party. They're just a political machine. And I can't, I've even searched on there and can't find stories about what's happening there. So it's just, there's a bunch of white noise right now. And I'm trying to figure it out as you, as you probably are if you're looking at this video. But those are the theories. Those are what, people are saying and they're saying that the, the town is going to just bulldoze over the bodies i can't believe that i don't want to believe that that they're not even going to search for any of the bodies they're just going to bulldoze everything and take it over if you are in chimney rock um 
please comment below if you are a, a, a prior resident of there, if your family is there, if you're a survivor, if you have intimate knowledge, please share your comment in the, in the comment section below. We're, a lot of us are very curious and want to know what's going on. Um, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what, I, th I think, I think that they want us all confused and this is part of the chaos. You see it. We all see it. We know what's going on now. It's, it, the world is in chaos. Uh, everything from the whole COVID debacle to the, the storms and the, and the mass shootings and, uh, and the P. Diddy thing and all the implications there and, the, you know, all of the people that, that are going to come up on charges for trafficking and sexual assault. And we have the whole illegal immigration thing. That's not immigration. Immigration is when people come legally. Don't call them migrants. Don't call them immigrants. They are illegals. And, and the, the Haitians they brought in and... and and the illegals that they're housing, they spent they spent so much money, so much FEMA money on this kind of stuff, and that money is not available now for these for these victims, of these citizens of the U.S. Right? They don't. They're offering them seven hundred and fifty dollars if they can get to a computer, and make a claim. These people have lost everything. These people were floating and hanging onto trees, and they're saying, go to your computer and collect your $750. Sorry we gave all the rest to the illegals and to the Haitians. People being turned away, people being threatened with arrest. One chopper pilot said he was using his own uh, chopper to go up there and, and, and save people. He was trying to get a man off a mountain, and he was told to stop or he would be arrested by local authorities. I don't know. I, I have I have not heard from that guy directly. But there's another guy, uh, Jonathan Howard, with a, with an outfit called uh, Aerial Recovery. Now this is a nonprofit. Now this guy, I've heard and seen talking about uh, a rescue operation that he did with a civilian helicopter from a guy who, who owns it in Wilmington, North Carolina. And this Jonathan Howard is saying that he and his buddy in a civilian helicopter rescued uh, an old woman who was almost out of oxygen. They rec rescued an 11-day-old baby. And the news was reporting that uh, the National Guard was doing this. And, this. and this guy is saying, I don't know what's going, what the hell is going on, but the media is lying to you. You can find this guy. And he's saying, the media is lying to you. I know this for a fact because I'm rescuing people and they're, t and they're giving credit to the, the National Guard. So they're just lying. What, why? Um, I've heard that the tr trucks are being looted and supplies are being stolen. What's going on? I, is, the, is this true? But I mean, why are, all there, why are we hearing all these reports? We want to we hear it from the horse's mouth. So if you're up there, please let us know. It's just, it's just a bunch of chaos going on right now. So, the, this, again, people are thinking, people are speculating that that storm was steered there for a reason. And that it, the reason was to wipe out that town to get a hold of that lithium. I don't, I don't believe it because I don't know, I don't have the information. So what I'm asking is anybody who has information, I know this is a crude way of gaining it, but this is all I have. Can you please tell me what you know to be true? And this may just be that a storm came through the Gulf and just the, the resulting winds continued on in, up into North Carolina and hit uh, the town of Asheville hard and, and other towns like this, like Chimney Rock. And that's that's just what happened. And then they're they're getting up there. Supposedly, I think the National Guard is now up there. I have heard a couple of reports. You know where you know where I have to look for news on this. It's not news, but it's just information. Is is twi is X Twitter? Um, X is where you can find information. Other platforms such as these that I use say you can't say that. That's misinformation, and they will punish you severely. They're very punitive. Um, you can't say anything. 
uh, you, you've got to be so careful. We couldn't talk about COVID at all. We couldn't share our thoughts about that and the vaccine. We couldn't talk about any of that. So, um, but I go to Twitter and that's where it's, it's like, it's like, it's not the dark web, but it's where they, there is a free exchange of information. It's the, it's the only town hall we have out there. So if you don't know and you're curious, go to Twitter and look up, look up Chimney Rock, look up uh, Helene's effect on, on Western North Carolina, and you'll know about as much as I know. But if you, if you learn anything, if you know anything, if you have an inside channel uh, as to what's going on with the, the council, the, the, the uh, town council up there in the meetings, and if the National Guard is in fact there, and in fact they are helping and looking for bodies, that's what we'd like to know because that's, of course, what should be happening. And I suspect it is. So let's just keep faith and, and peace in our hearts and know or at least hope that good things will come. All right? That's my update. And I know it's very chaotic, but the world is in chaos. And thank you for watching, and we'll talk soon.